greater subscribers and viewers of our channel. It is very important for us to understand what you like and what you don't like. Please do not hesitate to share your opinions in the comments. Hi. My name is Victoria, I'm 28 and I want to tell you my story. Maybe someone here will tell me what to do. I can't hide and keep quiet anymore. I have a wonderful husband with whom we never quarreled and lived in complete harmony and understanding until a certain point. I work as a logistics specialist at one enterprise. And there an incident happened to me that I can't keep quiet about. Last week, as in other days, I did my job. I was a little behind, but it was easy to fix. Then my boss, Ethan, called me into his office. He was angry and demanded that I turn in the month's paperwork. I explained that I was running out of time. I asked him to give me some time to get the paperwork in order. He reluctantly agreed. When I was done, I went back to see him. Ethan quickly reviewed the reports, found a few inaccuracies, and told me to redo them. I was about to go back to my desk when my boss gave me his. He said it would be faster. I didn't contradict him. He was already mad at me. As I got to work, I heard a click. It was Ethan locking the door. He answered my mute question by saying that it was quieter to work that way, no one would bother him. I reacted normally, but cautiously. Then he took two glasses and a bottle of whiskey out of the cupboard. I didn't want to drink, but he persuaded me to drink. I hadn't eaten anything in the morning, so I was immediately intoxicated after drinking the alcohol. I was in a suspended state, not understanding anything, but after a moment I felt someone's hand under my clothes. I started to resist, wanted to scream, but Ethan covered my mouth, promised to increase my salary and not to add extra work. I stopped resisting and agreed. He sat me on the desk, stroking my thigh with one hand and unbuttoning my blouse with the other. Taking off my blouse, he unhooked my bra and grabbed my breasts. Gently caressing it with his hands, he moved lower. My shoes were the first to fall off my feet, then he unbuttoned my skirt and pulled it off, along with my pantyhose. He slipped his hand into my panties and pulled them down. I was completely naked when he took off his jacket, unbuttoned his shirt, and pulled down his underpants and underwear. Rolling me over on my stomach, he put me doggy style and shoved his small cock inside me. As we had sex, he squeezed my ass tightly. It didn't last long. After a couple minutes, he come inside me. He took some tissues, wiped his cock, and wiped me down. Pulling up his pants, he threw things at me and kicked me out of the office. As I walked down the hall, I didn't understand how this could have happened. In many years of marriage, this was the first time I cheated on my husband. And the worst part of it all was that I started to remember that incident a lot. And not in the way that I should. The thing is, my husband is practically perfect. For life. Including sex. He's gentle, attentive, and alert. I didn't have much experience before him and so I was fine with everything. The way my boss fucked me was disgusting. But remembering his rudeness and inconsiderateness, I, on the one hand, felt dirty and used, and on the other hand this mixture of shame, guilt before my husband and the feeling that I was fucked, caused me hot waves in my lower abdomen. So when I got home, I stood under the hot shower for a long time, wondering how I was going to tell my husband all this, while thinking about it, I caught myself starting to masturbate. I was brought back to earth by the sound of my husband opening the door. Without deciding what to do, I came naked out of the bathtub, kissed him hard and, without letting him say a word, knelt down in front of him, then I unbuttoned his pants and started caressing his cock. I have to say that our sex life is quite orderly and measured, almost on a schedule, even though we are both still young. Therefore, this erotic improvisation of mine threw him, to put it mildly, into a slight shock. However, the firmness and readiness to continue his cock, said that he, 
did not mind this, at least. Pressing my ass against him, I bent over and rested my hands on the wall. And, when he entered me, I thought about the fact that my husband has both stronger and bigger than the boss. And at the same moment I was horrified at my own cynicism. To think that instead of confessing everything and repenting to my husband, I just seduced him and have sex with him in the hallway. And then my common sense took over, who, tell me, well, who would be better if you tell him everything now? It whispered to me. No one, I answered myself, and with all the passion I gave myself to the process. At dinner, my husband sat quiet and thoughtful. I wondered if he suspected something, I thought. However, it was the opposite, he admitted that he considers himself guilty for paying me little attention lately. A week passed. My passions had subsided a bit. The boss talked to me in a very formal way. My husband brought me a bouquet of flowers, which wasn't quite the usual. And although I continued to berate myself for cheating, I remembered more and more the feeling I'd gotten from my helplessness during an unceremonious boss fuck. Trying to repeat this with my husband was not successful, I just could not find the words to explain to him how I wanted. And that the main thing here for me is not sex, but psychology. However, he did not understand or did not want to understand. Or could not. Although earlier it seemed to me that we are perfect for each other. And, the fantasies were getting more and more insistent in my head. So, one day, when I found myself alone in Ethan's office and his hand lingered on my thigh, I went and locked the door myself. It's true what they say, the more often you do it, the more often you want it. Now I have a new fantasy, I want my boss to be behind me, and at the same time I caressed my husband's lips. But I don't know how to realize it practically. So I guess I will have to realize it without my husband. Thank you for listening to the end. Subscribe and like. Bye.